when I was in high school, junior, senior year, I was like, I had really good numbers, but I was undersized and small, and I didn't throw super hard. I skipped fourth grade, so like I was, I was behind everyone. My senior year, I was really a junior, but I still put up decent numbers, but no one looked at me, whatever. I got nowhere to go. Um, I ended up walking on a D2 school, UC Riverside. At the time, it was D2. Um, ended up getting hurt. And transferred to a junior college because I still had nowhere to go and I just wanted to make it. You know, that was my goal was to get a scholarship or something. So junior college is a good route and it kind of changed my career. I was just an outfielder only and then I started throwing again my sophomore year when my arm was healthy. And I went from like 85 to like 94, 96. Like just because I was throwing every day at long toss and getting after it in the weight room and stuff. So went to Oklahoma, I did get a scholarship. And then from there, I'm like, well, I'm just happy to play in college, right? That was like my dream. And then I ended up getting drafted really late, like 36th round. And uh, so that's kind of like, I like saying I was drafted low because like no one had to give me a shot, you know? So I still ended up making it to the big list for a short time, a little bit. Didn't do great in my time up there, but did good in the minor leagues and they got a chance. So, but the point of my story is that no one ever wanted me. I was always short and undersized and didn't throw hard enough. And the thing I had going for me was I was a, I was a worker, I was a grinder. Like, everybody thinks they work hard, you know, we all do. But it's not really the work that you put on when a coach makes you work, right? It's, it's like the stuff you do when they're not looking at it and like, what are you doing on your own? And so, like, that was always my thing. Like, for example, if I would go, say, running or whatever at night, like in the off season, I would imagine I was running in the seventh inning and, like, I was pitching. So I took the mentality of, like, I'm finishing this game and I'm tired right now, but I'm finishing. And then so I kind of played out like that. I played mental games like that with myself. Um, same thing in the weight room. Like, we had to do 10 sets or something, I do 12 because I was like, well, there's a lot of guys that are going to do one extra and think they're getting more. So I did two extra. And that, maybe that's stupid, but it worked for me mentally. And when I went on the mound or went and got in the box to hit, I thought, I am more prepared than this guy. I've done more work than this guy. 